Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do a full moon uh, mini reading for the Aries. Um, so this is going to be for April 25th to May the 1st. We're going to be looking at um, current love energies for you, um, what we need to be looking at in the past, and then also what is coming up for you. So this is actually going to be a five card spread. It's still going to be a mini reading because, you know, um, I want to generalize these readings as much as possible. So let's take a look at the love life for the Aries. Um, make sure that you subscribe, guys. And just to let you know, I'm having a 3,000 subscriber giveaway and contest. So be on the lookout for that. So make sure that you subscribe because you have to be a subscriber, okay? All right, so let's see what's going to be coming up for you, Aries, this week, okay? Um, I'm just going to finish shuffling and then cut the cards and then lay them out. Um, I, a lot of people shuffle before they come on and they lay out their cards. I'm thinking about doing it that way. It gives me a little bit of time, though, to, like you know update you and say hello to you guys and everything now this is so weird okay i have never ever seen a reading with all major arcana cards aries so you got some major stuff coming up okay you got five major arcanas the first one you got currently is the devil okay so the theme for you this week is major changes are they going to be good? Are they going to be bad? The answer is they're going to be good. So let me tell you, the devil card is coming up currently. So this means that you've got some dark energies around you. Some of you Aries might be coming out of some sort of bondage situation. Some of you might have just came out of some sort of addictive love situation. This person subjugated you. Um, or it could be the other other way around. Um, however, it is, it's a very intense relationship and there's some negative energies coming up with this devil, possibly even some, um, some witchcraft. Whenever I see the devil, I do see the occult. Okay, so this is someone using dark magic possibly, possibly. And I haven't been getting the devil card too often, so... It doesn't surprise me that I would pull this card, especially during the full moon. Um, in the past, the full card came up. So this is number zero in the zodiac. So this is the beginning and the end, to be honest with you. Uh, the number zero is a representation of God. This is God energy. Um, not only that, I can see that there was a little bit of immaturity in the past. It could have been your partner. Um, or it could have been you. What's crossing the full card um, is temperance. And so I do get the sense that if you are in a relationship currently, Aries, that there was some sort of new beginning that happened in the past, okay? If you are single, I can see you getting involved with someone that is sort of immature, someone younger than you. And someone that just has that childlike quality, that, that childlike quality that just makes people fall in love with them. Temperance is crossing in the past because I do see you Aries really having to be patient or maybe this person had to be patient with you um, because with this devil card coming up, it could indicate fear. It could indicate you being trapped in a, in a situation to where you're scared. To move forward and it could be because of some sort of past relationship um or it could just be a spirit it could be an energy you know or just somebody messing with you now the good news is that in the future you did get the hierophant so next week i get the sense that for a lot of you aries um there is going to be a older father figure that is going to come to your aid and this person is going to be all about doing the right thing. You don't have to worry about this person taking advantage of you, um, trying to get one over on you. This person is there to help 
This person is there to also remind you of what you need to do. So there's definitely some advice that's going to be given to you. And you're probably get being given this advice all the time by this person. And you're probably going to finally listen to it. Now what's crossing the Hierophant is the Magician in the future um, for you, Aries. And what the Magician means is you using the spirit, the fire, the air, the earth, and the water. You using the four elements and the spirit um, because it, it, the, the Magician almost, it's like a pentagram. His head is the spirit because you can see the spirit his aura behind him and then he has a pentacle in his hand so it's upside down but his hand is going up he's got um, spirit earth air fire and water and the sword represents air which means that he's very intelligent the wand is representing um, earth I'm sorry, fire. And this is the will to survive. So this is up by the spirit. This is why the wand is being held up higher than the other ones. Because this is your identity. Knowing who you are. Not allowing anybody to tell you who you are. Which is very important. Um, that's one of the biggest hurdles that so many people have. Then he's got the pentacle. Which is representative of earth. Okay, so this is earthly pleasures, okay, which is why he's on top of the devil, okay, and then you've got his finger in the water, so he's touching the water, the water's red though, so, but this is, the cup is representative of water, so this is the ability to manifest and the, and, and the knowledge of law of attraction, this is about manifestation, this is about the energies that you put out there, you know you're going to get them back. And this is a very responsible thing as an adult. When you become an adult and the Hierophant is an adult. So the Hierophant is going to teach you to be the magician. And it's going to be a major thing for a lot of you Aries out there. And I could see this totally helping your love life. These are very positive cards in the context of love. The magician card. Um, just to let you know what this magician stands for in the context of love. Um, this is a time when some of you singles are going to meet someone new. And if you are in a long-term relationship, it's going to get deeper. So you're going to fall even deeper in love with that person. Um, and your energy is going to pull that, that person in. So next week, if you are single... Um, you need to make sure that you get out and meet people because you're not going to meet anybody sitting at the house being worried with all of these negative thoughts. Um, so, yeah, I would say your theme for this week, again, is major, major life events happening. And they're all hitting you at once. But this is a good thing because the major arcana cards are like butterfly cards. They're like the butterfly effect. They're like the ripple effects. In fact, the things that you manifested, the things that you were thinking, processing, saying in the past is going to manifest. And, and your patience, your patience with the universe, your patience with yourself, your partner is going to manifest a lot of good things for you in the future. I feel as though the Hierophant, when it comes to love for some of you, you might meet the older man or this person might just be a lot in a more mature place than you are. Okay, um, that's going to do it this week for you, Aries. Um, again, I do offer personalized readings. Um, I do my readings by phone. Um, and so um, I do readings every single day. Check out my website. I also offer other services and there's also some products on there that you can look at there's cleansing baths there's going to be some more stuff going up daily um and so you'll be able to shop also on my site and there's going to be some pretty jewelry going up i'm gonna put up some stuff for you guys because i know that you guys love wearing your pentagrams you love sporting your pagan pride so i have all of that stuff for you guys and it's going to be coming up so make sure you bookmark 
my website as well as sign up for my newsletter because you'll get news from the divinemommy.com and you'll get updates on new items that I upload or new items that I put up for sale. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up this video for you getting five major arcanas. I've never seen that in a spread. So uh, thank you for watching. Bye.